Montgomery Bell Academy is known for its high academics and athletics. However, it's increasingly being recognized for its arts. In tonight's school patrol, a world-renowned artist spent some time at the prep school to encourage the students to express themselves. Uh, I'm a stencil artist. If you've seen what I've been doing downstairs, you have an idea of the direction of my work. He works alone. I didn't like the gallery world. It just seemed weird that people were making these paintings and putting them in galleries that didn't relate to me. And just days ago. At the end of the 90s, I started seeing a lot more graffiti art, street art, skateboard culture. These walls outside the theater in Montgomery Bell Academy. I just started cutting stencils really as a sort of part-time thing. Were nondescript. When I first started off, I was trying just to hone my skills. But now they're the Gare de Lyon train station in Paris. For me being able to go to different countries, see different cultures, cuisine, customs, that's something that really inspires me. One of the many countries stencil artist Logan Hicks has visited for inspiration. I need to put up, spray, and take down one layer every time. He's known worldwide for his stencil work. You can't just tape it up, walk away, and then expect to come back and it's still going to be there. Just time-consuming process, constantly covering the piece over and over again with stencils, building layers upon layers, detail, color. Seeing a piece take shape, layers start to to go on. That's always been the real interesting part of stenciling. Try to let your hand lead when you're doing stuff. Hicks began working with stencils after starting a screen print business. Rather than try to move the blade, I would try to move the paper itself. But found stencils were a better fit. When I started doing the stencils, I realized how much I really enjoyed, you know, what I was doing. His work has taken him from New York City's infamous Bowery Wall. For me, I try to paint as large as I can. It doesn't mean that I always sell paintings as large as I can. To the Miami Dolphins Hard Rock Center. I just enjoy painting large. Hicks doesn't this confine his work to 8 by 11 sheets of paper. I started doing time lapses. He's the latest artist to visit NBA. I had to literally walk on top of the painting. And one of the most rebellious, having to paint on buildings in the dead of night. When nobody was awake so I wouldn't get caught, now they're asking me to go out and paint on the street, so kind of a weird thing. Like when he went underground, he painted stuff that he wouldn't get paid for, but he still had so much love for art that he did it anyways. Students here at NBA look at what you do. are intrigued. It's advice from a professional explaining how the process works, trying to figure out how I'm doing this further in my life. He's talked about how much work it takes to be a great artist and finding your passion and doing what you love. The stencils were just ginormous and they covered the whole wall. Lane Orndorff has a strong interest in art. And just capturing those moments and those emotions in art is just such a cool way to express those to the world. If you have to tell me what your painting means in order for me to appreciate it, you probably should just write a book. I think art should be able to stand on its own. Last year, the school hosted artist Black Lorat, whose artwork can be found all over campus.